Hello everybody, my name is Netfly. Today I'm back with another video. In this video, I'm going to be showing you part two of making of this Bowie camp knife. Um, I really enjoyed it. I hope you enjoyed the making of it. Um, yeah, here we go. So, as you can see, the forge is running. It's very hot right now. I'm going to stick my uh, Bowie knife in there, and we're going to heat treat it. Yeah, let's this one. <laughs> out of the heat treat there's a bit of spray paint on it because I was spray painting a thing um, but yeah basically now I'm just gonna sand all this off I've left the handle kind of icky because the um, I'm assuming these little bumps in there, these little bubbles that form from the uh, heat treating, I'm assuming that will help the glue or the epoxy stick to the scales better. So what I'm going to do now is temper the blade by just uh, heating up the spine with the blowtorch and hoping that the color runs down so that the, just the edge is nice gold color and then yeah we'll be starting on the handle okay, now to spare the blade from uh, scratches and stuff we're gonna wrap it in this painters tape There we go. Nice and tape. Okay, you know. So this is my handle wood box, um, and some more there. But this is the main handle wood that I'm going to use. It's called Purple Heart. It's very nice looking wood. Um, so now we just have to choose a piece. I'm thinking this one looks much more red on camera, but I'm a sh it's much more purple. Okay, we'll use this one. So basically we just have to trace out the design of the handle onto this piece of wood and then cut it out. Cut it in half because the scales can't be that thick on either side. And then we will start uh, shaping it to the thing. Okay, so here it is clamped in the vise. I'm going to use the little saw that I don't know where it is right now. Basically, I'm going to use a one of those coping saws. I'm going to use one of those. No clue where it is. Um, but I'm going to use one of those to cut this out. Oh, there it is. But yeah, I'm just going to cut it out and then cut it in half. Not with this. Probably, I'll see what I can do with that, but probably not with that. Probably cut it in half with the hacksaw. Yeah. Okay, so now that I've split them in half, I'm just going to throw them on the belt sander and clean them. That'll be good. OK, 
Okay, so I don't know yet. Yeah, there we go. I messed up this handle because this is the side that's supposed to be glued to the uh, actual handle part of the blade it's because it's flatter than this side. So instead of doing all wood, I'm going to be making some of it out of copper. And yeah, basically, you can see where these two lines have been cut. The dotted line is just above that line where I have to cut. And that will fit these, and we'll have copper and uh, purple heartwood handles. I've got them cut and flattened, now I just need to clean up the ends of the handles, like put it on the knife, do a dry fit, shape it up and do all the nice stuff, and then, yeah, so let's see how that goes. Okay, so for these two middle holes, I do not actually have any six millimeter round, I don't know, you know, stuff, so what I've done is I found a piece of that piece right there. I found a piece of thinner stuff. It was bent like that one is. So I've straightened it out. It's slightly too big. I think it's like 6.5 millimeters or seven. So I'm just gonna turn it down. I'm gonna forge it down so that it's a little thinner. Use the sander and it should be good to go in those holes. Fortunately, my camera's running out of memory, so I'm gonna have to not show you this bit, but you'll see it when it's done. Okay, so I have the four holes drilled out on one side. They're not yet drilled out on the other side. I've super glued this to here for now, just four little dots on each. Um, so yeah, now I'm gonna drill through these. I'll put the pins in, I'll super glue those in as well. Then I'll start shaping it to the handle, and then I'll take it all apart, put epoxy on it, put it back together, and yeah, we'll have a nice well, Everybody's talking about the good old days. Okay, so now what I'm doing is, as you can see, I've already done it on this side, I'm leveling it off. So you can see that this side is completely straight across here. This side, it has a bump between the wood and the uh, copper. So I'm just basically flattening that out and making these two the same height. And with just with the angle grinder and the flap disc, I will come back later and shape this. But after I do this, I'm basically going to cut the pins to size, I'm going to peen them and then we'll start like properly shaping the handle. Okay, so what I'm doing now is just filing the, the handle, or not filing, sanding the handle of the knife. I'm up to 600 grit right now, which is nice because it's very, very smooth. Um, the, the copper's a bit rough just because um, I have a big gap in grits, but um, yeah, that's what I'm doing right now. My camera has three minutes of memory left, um, which is not a lot. So I'm gonna try to do this as quick as possible. But, ah, uh, that keeps happening because I keep ripping it on the little spike. 
But, um, yeah, basically that's what's going on. Um, just time consuming, that's all. All we have left to do is oil it. How much time do we have left? Two minutes, okay. Ooh. You can really see the, well, you can't because it's not focused. Anyway, I can see that the grain is really popping out. So I guess unwrap the blade now. Exciting. Okay, and that's the knife done. It's very sharp, as you can see. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. I really enjoyed making it. It's definitely my favorite knife so far. Um, please uh, like, comment, subscribe, do all that stuff. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.